Today's the big day, it's the Ivy Visual Arts Exhibition and we've been, all been working really hard for this for the past two years. This is the, uh, the big show, this is all their hard work, this is everything that they have put their uh, blood, sweat and tears into. The hive of activity that's been going on in the art room for the last few weeks is off the scale, it's off the chart. Right now we're doing the finishing touches for our Ivy Art Exhibition, let's go have a look. I've always loved art and I'm a bit of a show off sometimes so I feel like it's really fun to like showcase my art and let people like see it and kind of observe it. I'm honestly quite nervous about people seeing my work because they're, it's, the works are quite personal and I hope that people can resonate with the work somehow. When people look at it I'm not afraid of what they're gonna say because at the end of the day it is art and art doesn't have a, a correct answer. I feel like every artist can relate to the fact that once you create a piece you think that it's not good enough, so you either start on a new piece or you'll just keep on working into the piece until it's perfect. The most worrying bit is, will they get it all done in time? Okay, I think that works. All right. The panic, the final touching up of paintings, um, I think there's going to be a lot of wet paintings still when, uh, when we hit opening. So uh, I think, um, yeah, that's, that's been the main panic, I think, is the realisation of it's now. This is the moment you've been waiting for, two years of hard work. This is your night. One, two, three. Cheerio! <laughs> I think the key thing for me as to be an artist or, or to want to be an artist is you have a voice. And I think you can affect somebody perhaps in a, in a small way. And, uh, and for me, that's something that I think is a powerful thing to be able to do. This whole process of trying to discover who you are as an artist, I think that's really the highlight of this IB program. I hope my viewers are able to understand that there is no um, limit to how you can uh, present yourself to the world and that everybody should be comfortable in their own skin. So my work as a whole is centers around self-liberation and letting go of the restrictions in your life and I hope that through viewing my work viewers can um, consider that sort of concept within their own lives. You know I see all the stuff on the web that's like Banksy or like um, some other Singaporean artists like TS1 and stuff like that and I wouldn't have the chance to be able to practice or, well, I would have, but it might have been illegal or like, it would have been very hard to come by these kinds of chances if I didn't take IV art. This is a really great space that art school has provided for students like me because it allows me to experiment with different forms of art style, like spray painting, which I've never done before. Over the past two years, I've definitely grown doing the IV art coursework because um, since there's no boundaries, I'm able to explore different mediums and in increase my knowledge in art and become more independent in the way I do my work. I think I've definitely gained a deeper appreciation for conceptual work and it's really meaningful when it comes to art because um, art has many layers. Me, as a person growing up, I was more of the introverted kind of person and so, like I said, I didn't have any sort of way to express myself truly and so when I make artworks and my parents see it, even if they're against the idea and how um, I go about doing it, they understand that it's my perspective, it's what's in my head. And in fact, I think because of that, um, we have gotten along better in terms of communications because now I can express more freely of what I think. I've thoroughly enjoyed this IV art course. It was hard work, but it was worth it in the end. Everybody in the world should take an art subject because the, the transferable skills that the students get from art, music and drama are phenomenal. The arts gives the students so much more than just the skill of being able to create a piece of music or a piece of theatre or a piece of art. It gives them life skills which are just invaluable. I think it's made me more well-rounded when it comes to approaching things in my life and um, to become a more holistic thinker. The relationship you build up as well with the students when you teach them an art subject. You get to know a different side of them that you don't see in maths or you don't see in you know, history or something like Although that. Although all those subjects are very important. Of course they are, of course they are, but, <laughs> but not as important as Not as important as the arts, absolutely. Why is art fun? Because we teach it. Ha, 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 ha.